Hello, this is Justin Grover with Adobe Product Management, and I'm here to show you some of the new features of the Analyst Workspace. What we're going to focus on today is some new, new visualizations that have come out in the latest release. Um, sometimes it is really it, it is best to have just a big number to help kind of focus the, the people you're sharing this analysis with on what is most important. And so in this case, I've got a, a number that I want to put up here. Um, you'll see that it's actually tied to the table below, so wherever I select in the table, it will it will update. I can even choose the total rows if I need to, um, and I can I can add kind of a, a description or a, or a title to this uh, to this widget here. Um, and so what it allows me to do is to show just a, a, a really concise view of the data. Um, and I can put multiples of these on the on the table or on the project here. And uh, by selecting Rolling Viz Sync, it will lock this visualization to this cell and then I'm free to add another one. So I'm going to go ahead and add another summary number over here. Um, and uh, this time we are going to add the crashes from my mobile app. So if I go ahead and do this, make it about the same size so it kind of fits. We'll give it another a good name here, crashes. And then, um, and you can see I can have as many of these as needed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually add, uh, set the rolling viz sync for this one as well. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another visualization called a summary change. And what this one does is this one allows me to see how a metric changes over time um, or changes between, between cells. And so in this case, what I can do is I can actually come in and select two different cells. And what that will do is that will give me a change, uh, percentage change between those two. Um, so if you look at it, I selected uh, last week and the week before um, in that order, and that will it, the order that you select the the two cells will tells it what how to compare it. So in this case, um, I'm not actually down 18 percent in traffic. I'm actually up. And so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and select the previous week and then last week, and that will give me the 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 appropriate number for that. Um, I can also go in here and uh, you know adjust the settings just like I would any other any other visualization. Um, so hopefully this gives you a good feel for, for some of the new visualizations and the new possibilities that you have available to you. Uh, we hope you enjoy using the Analyst Workspace.